Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 140 of, wow, 140 of uh, Mountain Blade uh, Battle Lord. So currently, these guys have declared war on us, so the, I, the last episode was yesterday. Uh, declares war on the Unity and also the Crusades. Uh, let's check. See, that means they have so many people. At the same time, they also have so many. Uh, they just they they just got a mercenary group to uh, to help them out, right? And so our I th so that means they can. They can mess up our settlements, uh, our villages. They can keep raiding them, even if they're only like 15 or 20. They can keep raiding them, like as a, as a series. Like, you know, 15 guys will raid this village, and then uh, they will be beaten off by the militias that we have in those villages. And then another 15 guys will come in and do the same over and over again until they beat down the village and then they will get a ton of oh see like that's one village there Ooh, who declared war on us who's this guy uh jeez Who's this guy? Okay, let's pre this guy. So the Botanians have joined. What? Uh, who's this guy? Uh... Gavin's clan. Who's who are these guys? So the Batanians, the Sturgeons, have declared war on us. And wow. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I'm I'm figuring out that the amount of damage they can do to us will be significant. So let us find it, find out how much it would cost if we get these guys to uh, peace out with them. How much would it cost? If it's not too significant, maybe it's better to peace out with them. Like Sturgia, how much would it go to peace out with them? Uh, consider making peace, paying 29.20. How about Batania? Wow, they want 46.40. How about the Crusades? Whoa! You know, let's peace out with uh, Batania, uh, with Crusades. No, no, with the Sturgeons. Wow, okay. And then the Batanians, what is their strength? Okay, let's see. Once they start uh, harassing our settlements, then we'll peace out with them. Man, I am... See, that's why it's like... We can easily... punish them if we wanted to. The problem is there are so many of them. So that's 3,000 to the uh, Sturgeons. Hold on. Um, I want to check on our clans. I thought... Uh, we had another baby. Just... just uh, Friduna, right? Oh, she's gotten pregnant. Uh, that was in the winter. Uh, who's the other one? Uh, Friduna. The other one is... 
this one. Okay, uh... So, Friduna... Man, just keeping track of who is, uh, who is pregnant and who has... Uh, is, uh, getting me a little dizzy here. Yeah, it's my, it's just my, because my memory is not that good, and so, oh, this is Friduna right here. What am I doing? Okay, it was winter of... Okay, so she should be giving birth pretty soon. Wait, uh, you're... So we have a newborn baby? That's, um, healthy, right? Uh, Friduna has given birth to a healthy baby. Okay, um, you know, I'm inter it's interesting. We have not had any, what do you call this, uh, notice that the Batanians are raiding our property. That's surprising, right? Where are the Batanians? Are they in Valandian territory? I think uh, most of them are in Valandian territory. See, I think... Uh, okay, uh, let us... So that's a... As long as it's a healthy baby, we are happy. Uh, that is adding to the size of our clan. And... Uh, Okay, I think that's a good reason to save the game. <laughs> because sometimes uh, uh, they will announce like a stillbirth. Okay, let's just save it. Uh, any addition to our clan is always a, a benefit. So, Batanas, they want uh, almost 5,000. Oh. <sighs> So we're paying 3,000 to the Sturgeons and then potentially paying 5,000 to the Batanians. I'm waiting for the Valandians to uh, announce their incursion too. One, two, Yeah, I wish our uh, companions would come down to the uh, to where the uh, Batanians are, or like Valandian, or in our territory, so they can protect it. What are these? These are Amenyavians. Um, okay, done. You know the. So the last yes yesterday was when we made the last uh recording. So we haven't uh and we we were checking and to find out if our party members got the benefit. Yeah, they're still not showing the benefit. Man, this is just uh how do we look at this? So if we, yeah, if we focus on their party size, it doesn't explain, like when you focus on our party size, it tells us, no, I was hoping for something that would show us the, how uh, our party size has been influenced by, in terms of, yeah, how do we get to that size? So uh, apparently there is no mechanism to s 
demonstrate that. Similar to when we look at the fifth thieves, right? Uh, we can see that in the fifth, when we look at like loyalty, we see the components in there, and why it is at plus three, right? Unlike uh, I was hoping to have something similar to this, like here. So citizenship is plus point five, imperial towns plus one. Forgiveness is plus two, that's 3.5. Tribunes of the people, 4.5. And the fairgrounds, another 1.5, which would be six. So I was hoping something like that will pop up, but apparently it is not. Let's look at Sionan. Sionan loyalty is plus two. Yeah, because we have a different culture plus the citizenship that worked against us, but we have plus four. For the other, for the other three policies plus the festival of festival and games, which is plus seven. So um, yeah, I'm trying to understand why it's not being applied here. Over here, uh, no, it just shows cavalry. Wages, yeah, it doesn't show party size. And so I I was hoping they will be closer closer to about 340 rather than less than 300. Huh. And we have them on unlimited. So all of them are unlimited. Right, so they are not, yeah, it's not as if the budget is constraining them from expanding. Wow, okay. Uh, we got uh, our people here, so let's come back to Orticia. Yeah, at least Soros party is going to the right place. I wonder if we should start positioning ourselves so that we can um, deal with What's our speed? 2.9. So we can deal with uh, Valandia once they declare war on us. With Canon of Oristori. Okay. Uh, Yeah, those two guys up there should come down to the Batanian area. Mm. Still, we're still not doing uh, good business here. I mean, I mean, our city is not making as much money. You know, other cities are making over a hundred thousand, especially in the land of Valandia. Uh, ours are not making that kind of money. Okay. Oh, oh, we want uh, we want more dates, right? Uh, 
Why is this thing not showing any dates here? Yeah, they don't have any dates. Why is that? Like, yeah, date fruit? Yeah, they're not showing any date fruit. In fact, it's expensive here. Hmm. And so we still have uh, the Northern Empire, Western Empire declaring war on us. I'm still waiting for those shoes to drop. And then uh, Southern Empire and, um, and Valandia. So I want to see what the hit is in terms of if we peace out with all of them, what would be its impact to us? So in the meantime, we keep uh, picking up more and more uh, troops so that we can actually use them. Uh, Butchuleri. Oh, they're all four of them have uh, joined us. You know what? Tusnik, Khan's guard. We'll have one guy only, this guy. Mamluk, Faris, Imperial Heavy Horseman. I think let's get the Drusnik. done uh, let's go to the garrison I think we want to turn over the butchuleri and and the Grus uh, Drusnik but who can we take from them Oh, we can take the elite cataphracts. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Okay. Six sixty four. And then trying to find out what they have. So uh, again, I'm trying to see if we can. Uh, preposition swords and grain. So the preposition here, grain, is not that much. Let's find out what, uh, how much is grain being traded here for? I forgot to look. Uh, maybe we should buy more grain. Wow, they're at sixteen bucks. No, it is expensive. Okay, no. Uh, I think we can go up to Marunath. They can give us uh, cheaper grain. No, we don't want, we just want, yeah, we want uh, Imperial Heavy Horsemen. Uh, we're not buying products anymore because uh, we're getting, I'm prepping ourselves for war. This is uh, Garantor Castle. Yeah, it has Empire, so yeah, it should also have... Uh, Imperial troops, cavalry.
I'm curious as to what happened to uh Well, Mitara, what are they? Are they holding hands up there? And Goethe, they should come down here. Oh, of course, uh, the Kuzates have also declared war on us. Okay, so they're being up there patrolling is actually makes sense. Wow, this is thin pickings. <laughs> They're because they're like uh, tier four now, tier four troops, right? Wow, this is expensive. This is still Empire territory. I'd like to take a peek as to what is happening in Valandia. Or is Dalmega? Or are you Sora? Okay, let's save this. If Sora doesn't go down there and it allows that village to be ravaged, then I think let us uh, seek peace with the Batanians. You know what? I think let's just seek peace with the Batanians. <sighs> Because what I want to do is look at the uh, Valandians to see if they are starting to set up like uh, military. You know, I mean, they are setting up armies already or gathering into big armies. See, 4,000. Let's consider making 4,000 per day to get them off our hair. So we're only dealing with the Kuzates. Where's the other village? This is a uh, faction of Valandian. Oh. Oh, Empire Culture, okay. This is Volandia. Usank Castle. What are your uh, what are your cities? What are your cities? Isn't this is for Fractore? So Usank owns uh what are the castles that it owns? It owns Usank and where's the other castle? Uh, I thought there were two of them. So this is tied to Thraktore. This is tied to Usank. Where is the other one? Oh, it has only one village. Wow, this castle is very poor. It has only one village. It's like especially poor. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, whoa, Desperion. Okay. Um, let's see what is it to peace out with him. He's supposed to be one of our friends. No, 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 not that one. Uh, Desperion. Okay, let's peace out with him. That's 2,000. 
Okay. Then maybe we can go and uh, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop for uh, Valandia and uh, Southern Empire so that uh, if they do not, if those shoes don't drop, I think let's come and take uh, Umbrella. Wow. Wow, okay, anyway, our timer went off, so I guess this would be a good place to uh, cut the episode right here. Uh, I think at 14 bucks is cheap. Okay, let's buy the olives. Anyway, uh, yeah, our timer went off, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye!